Everybody, my name is David. I'm a Coke Play Frontier from the Genesis Group. Today, I'm going to give you guys a quick market update and also a happy new year. All right, happy new year. I hope all of you in the Coke family, and also even if you're not part of the Coke family, all of you have a blessed year. I'll be praying for all of you. Please do the same for me. Now, let's check out the market update real quick. So, <clears throat> if you saw my video, uh, my previous video, I, I did say that I expect Bitcoin to go down, some up, but I don't see any really big push up. I see, if anything, I see some more downside. And that was like, I believe it was here on Wednesday, about here. And then it did go down, it went down some more. We have some sideways. I did say we're gonna have some ups and downs, but really more on the sideway. The main thing is we don't break this 42,000 okay we don't want to go under 42,000 and even if we do go under 42,000 we really don't want to go under 39,000 right here okay because right now we have a low which is this green candle then a higher low which is this red candle and then even a higher low well <clears throat> If and also we have a high, which is also this red candle, and then a higher high, yes. So we want this to be a higher low, otherwise, it's going to break down and it's not looking good. Okay, now let's look at it from the perspective of if you look at CoCoin, how well has CoCoin done in the last 90 days? phenomenal this is a 90-day chart okay october 2nd to december 31st all right beautiful beautiful nice pullback even when bitcoin went ahead and down but it's back up okay even hit the price targets of what i said if it goes down and uh you know the the price targets that we don't want to go past i mean we did but it reacted the way i I was hoping it would. Everything's good. This is a 90-day October 2nd to December 31st. And if you notice, in the past 90 days, it's just exactly where it's at. It's around the same, maybe a little lower. So Bitcoin hasn't done nothing in the in 90 days, basically. After nine, you know, 90 days ago on October 2nd, it's the same price now on December 31st, around the same price. Cocoin, on the other hand. 90 days ago, it was around three bucks, okay? And now it's at 577. So I want you to kind of look at this. I, I actually got the chart down right here. All right? And that really says a lot of uh, how well CoCoin has performed. That really says a lot. While Bitcoin is going down, CoCoin is going up. Okay? And why, why, why am I saying that? Well, let's look from here. Okay. So, CoCoin, this is parabolic, but the trend is going like this. Yes? Bitcoin, the trend is going like this. You understand? And then on top of that, let me erase all this. If you look at CoCoin, boom, you have that move back up. Bitcoin, boom, you have to move down. And that's why I said CoCoin in general. It just is not correlated to Bitcoin and price maneuvers. I mean, yeah, it can go down with Bitcoin. It did go down in this spot here. Um, and hold on. Like this move down there. However, CoCoin is already moving back up. All right. This move down here. Well, I mean, that's just actually up to here. That's actually just good pullback from this ridiculous parabolic move we had so that's a healthy pullback so right now cocoin is doing what cocoin normally does 
outperform Bitcoin when big when the um, crypto market is bearish, and that really just says a lot about Cocoin, how well it's done, how well it's performing. Now, if you want to know what do I think is going to happen for Bitcoin uh, with this card here. Uh, this is a three-day, notice these are two-day candles up top. It's a three-day um, I chart. And right now, what I want you to focus is, let's look back here if you look at June and July, right? And this is what I want um, you to look at. Okay, if you really want to know what, I, what I'm hoping is the best case for Bitcoin is this. You see the RSI is going up this way. You see the line, yeah? But Bitcoin, the price continue to go down. But the RSI is going up, Bitcoin is going down. We call this a bullish divergence, okay? This is bullish sign, okay? And so even though the price is going down, and so eventually this maneuver up on the RSI, this momentum, push Bitcoin to whew, fly up. Understand? Now, I'm going to show you a bearish diversion. So, it puts Bitcoin up, yes? And if we look here, now, let's go back. If you notice here, the RSI is slowly going down. Yes? Because this move was up here. Well, Bitcoin continue to go up while the RSI is going down. That's a bearish diversion. Okay? That's bearish. That means expect the price to go down. Now, these divergences can take months or a month. Okay? You know, it could take whatever, like two, three weeks to even like two months. All right? And so for it to play out, but that's what we see. Right? Now, let's look over here. This is the same thing. Look at the RSI. It's going down. Look at the price. It went up. And that's a bearish divergence. And that diversion, boom, brought the prices down here. Okay? And, you know, once again, this maneuver here, you know, you could say it took over a month or around, yeah, over a month, I think. Or around a month. But you guys understand what I'm saying right now. What we have right now is what it seems like to be a bullish divergence. The RSI and Bitcoin's going down. Okay, so look, look over here. Let's look up close. All right, you see the RSI number is right here. That price is going here, but maybe around here, and it's still going up while the price is going down. We want the price to go like this way or a little down, but the RSI to continue to move up. If we have that, you know, um, in a month from now, Maybe a month and a half from now, you know, we're, we're going to see a, a good move up, a, a strong move up, okay? that This is uh, the RSI on the four day, okay? And you see the same thing. All right? You hit the RSI, slowly just moving up. The price is going down. It popped up. The RSI is slowly going down this way. Bitcoin continues to go up. So the price went down. Okay. You can see the divergence, right? You can see how this is playing out. It just, it takes longer. It's not like this is going to happen in days. You know, it's going to take, you know, at least weeks to over, you know, a couple months. Okay. Same here. RSI is going down on a four-day RSI. Prices continue to go up. Boom, it pushes down. Right now, look, we're here. RSI is moving up. While Bitcoin had a big drop, we need the RSI to continue to move up. Okay? And here, we don't want Bitcoin to have huge drops, but kind of just drop and move sideways, a little up, a little down, while the RSI continue to go up. 
And then if we, if we, you know, if it continues to go up, it's going to push the price up. All right. And so, but once again, you know, that could be like another month, month and a half from now. All right. Um, so that's the... That's what I'm hoping we're looking at right now. We're, I'm hoping we're looking at a bullish divergence for Bitcoin. For KuCoin, this is all healthy. This is all healthy. Um, I said if KuCoin would have... Well, here. I know, oh, okay. Let's look at the KuCoin chart. Um, here. And let's look at the one day. Remember... I said if KuCoin breaks this price limit, the next, because we don't see anything here from here, the next good support is going to be around here. Okay? And when KuCoin on Gecko, it went down pretty deep. But <laughs> what I showed was if you look here, $4.99. And look at the red. You see that that red wick hit just almost perfect with the green wick, right? You see that support. You see that support, okay? You had a really strong wick. Look at look at the wick where it's about $6.20. And if you look to the left, CoCoin had a wick that went up around there too. And then you had resistance. That's how you want to look at the charts. That's how you want to look at the charts, okay? So, really, if you look at KuCoin, on the max, um, I mean, this was such a parabolic move that it's really hard to say when the next move up is. But if you look like, let's say this is October 5th, Uh, whatever. Okay, November 17th. You know, that was like about a month and a half and you had a big move up, yeah? Um, and let's look at another one like here. About May 1st. June 2nd. That was about a month. Uh, February 27th, April, that was almost two months, you know, like like a month and three weeks, right? And so what I'm expecting is if we had a move like, like, like you went down like this, uh, once again, October 5th. June, November 17th, so that's about like, you know, almost a month and a half, and so you see that it takes about anywhere between a, about a month to two months. Now, this was seriously parabolic, so it's, it's hard to say, but if I were to just take a guess, um, within a month and a half from now, okay, so month and a half from now so let's say from tomorrow month and a half from tomorrow by february anywhere between yeah in the month of february anyway around halfway through before february 21st i'm guessing bitcoin before that time will have another move up that's really what i see that's what i see in the charts okay and you you've seen what I said about how far Bitcoin could go down and, and where it'll have strong support, it did all that. It did all that. Why? How did I know these things? I, I'm just looking at the chart. I'm just telling you what I see in the chart. And so Bitcoin looks, you know, it, right now it looks very healthy. It's outper it definitely outperformed Bitcoin. It's still from one year ago, 2,164% up. Okay. Bitcoin's only 104% up. I mean, that's a huge difference. So, KuCoin, just on the charts, it looks very healthy. This is still good. It's still good. We're, 
everything's fine. Um, probably before February 14th to 21st, before that time, Bitcoin will have another move up. And we got to see how it reacts. You remember, like, it had the first move up. And I said, oh, I, it could still move up. And then even when it moved up, I again said it could still move up. Just look at the videos in the past. So, CoCoin is looking good. Uh, Bitcoin, hopefully we have a bullish divergence. Hopefully, even though I still see some down and up, down and up, and maybe further to the downside, as long as it doesn't break like 39,000. You know, Bitcoin eventually needs to break that 53,000 mark, 53,500, 53, that mark, and then use it for um, support later. So hopefully we get a bullish diversion in Bitcoin, which that could take some time. That could take a month to two months for that to play out. <laughs> and CoCoin will, um, CoCoin is CoCoin. Co it's not really, you, you can, I, I've said it so many times, you just look at the chart. There's not a whole lot of correlation between CoCoin and Bitcoin. You can see how Bitcoin went down while CoCoin continues to go up. So that is that. Uh, that's the market update. We see a potential good bullish divergence for Bitcoin. CoCoin continues to look good. Uh, and the project is good. Just is solid. Look at look at the, the CoCoin news that I, I, I make in the videos and, and everybody else with the other information that they bring up. So, you know, CoCoin looks great. It ended the year solid. It's going to start 2022 solid. We are good, Coke family. We are in good shoes. We're doing okay. Remember, I'm not your financial advice. I'm not telling you what to do. Uh, I am telling you what I'm doing. I'm, I'm staking in CoCoin. <laughs> and I gave you the reasons why. Because the platform, everyone that's part of the platform... The, on the administrative side, the CEO, and all of them, they're genius. They know what they're doing. I haven't showed you in a video where they're even in the stocks, stock market. They're big, okay? It's not, this is not child's play. And they're, you know, uh, they're constantly working to upgrade the platform, to make new um, deals with other companies, and to work on the future, which is the metaverse. All right, everyone. And also make utility cases for CoCoin. All right, everyone, stay blessed, okay? Happy New Year. God bless y'all. I'm praying for y'all. Please, you know, be spiritually healthy, all right? And, of course, coke on.